Hey, welcome back, guys. <clears throat> this is uh, part two of my Debian 9 stretch, the stable edition, uh, installing drivers. Now, originally I did the NVIDIA install, and I showed you that in the last video. Some of the steps are going to be similar. Again, we need to make sure that we have the proper headers installed for the kernel that we're running in Debian. Now, the good news is that <clears throat> In, especially in this version of Debian, Debian 9, many more drivers are configured out of the box. Uh, for example, if I go to System and Print Settings, you'll see that my printer has already been configured right out of the box properly right after install. Again, no, no intervention on my part. It was, it was all set up and ready to go. So once you boot up after you've installed, if you have NVIDIA drivers, then refer to my last video. But for your Wi-Fi, it's still a little more work than some of the other distributions. For example, if you're using Ubuntu, there'll be a, an Ubuntu uh, driver manager that you can click on. And, so, and as long as you're... Wi-Fi adapter is l uh, recognized natively by Linux. It'll be listed there, and all you have to do is click on it, and it'll install the drivers for you. That's not the case in Debian. You have to work a little bit harder within Debian to get your desktop set up, but I believe the effort is worth it because you'll be rewarded with a very stable long-term support operating system. So when you are talking Wi-Fi and Debian you basically um, have normal configuration options command line uh, commands that you can utilize to help you recognize your adapter and you'll probably be using either WICD or network manager now I would recommend to you that you use the Debian wikis so you've there's one dedicated to Wi-Fi and there is several as you can see there are lots of packages if you're using network manager there are lots of configuration uh, uh, assistance within this wiki so I would recommend that you read through how to use a Wi-Fi interface. You have Network Manager WICD. There are pros and cons to both. I prefer Network Manager. But there's lots of uh, information here. Now if you're using Broadcom, I'll go through Broadcom briefly. I don't have Broadcom on this machine. However, I have another computer that has Broadcom, so I'm very familiar with the install process. So we'll talk about Broadcom and also, make sure you use the Debian forums, Debian user forums, Debian forums.debian.net. Lots of useful information. Post up some questions, and more than likely you'll get an answer to those questions. Now, let's take a look at Network Manager versus WICD. Now, this is an XFCE desktop install. Um, I haven't really done a lot to, to configure it. I've installed the NVIDIA drivers. And I installed WICD and Network Manager side by side. So you could see the difference between the two. And I'm going to illustrate why I prefer Network Manager. So let's take a look. If I click on Network Manager, um, you can see that I don't have any wireless devices listed. I've got Ethernet, but nothing wireless. If I click on WICD, you see there it says no wireless networks found. Now, I'm going to basically be dealing with two. Uh, I don't have any internal 
Wi-Fi cards. I don't have room on my motherboard for a PCI Wi-Fi card. However, I do have a couple of dongles. This first dongle, as you can see, it's a USB dongle, and this is the this is the Wi-Fi adapter that I was using for quite some time, until I came across because I have a an AC router, which is the uh, network. Um, interface the speed at which data is transferred uh, the newest Linux or the newest uh, protocol is the AC it used to be the 802.11b 802.11n now it's 802.11ac now this one only went up to 802.11n this one goes up to 802 11 AC much faster much better signal throughout the house since my router is on the second floor I've actually added an extender but this is the adapter that I've been using but I, I want to show you the difference between WICD and network manager now this this adapter is recognized by Linux right out of the box so all I have to do is plug it in and I'll show you that. So let's see. I'm going to I'm going to use my hub, my USB hub to see if it picks it up. Now I just plugged it in. And I'm going to take a look at WICD. It still tells me no wireless networks found. And let's take a look at network manager. There's the difference. Network Manager picked up all of my uh, all of my networks and gives me already it's configured right as soon as I plugged it in it picked it up so now I am able to connect to one of my networks and that's the beauty of Network Manager so if you are installing Debian LXDE it's going to come with WICD I highly recommend that you install it's called Network Manager GNOME Network-Manager-GNOME G-N-O-M-E once you have that if you reboot then more than likely your Wi-Fi adapter will be recognized out of the box and all I would have to do is connect to my wireless network now I'm going to disconnect this adapter so I can show you how to configure a real tech adapter. So we will unplug that one. And so you saw the difference between WICD and Network Manager. WICD didn't even pick up the adapter. Network Manager did. Okay, so let's plug in my preferred adapter and let's take a look at WICD no wireless networks found let's take a look at network manager no wireless networks found the reason is this adapter is not natively recognized by Linux so what do we do about that well there's a couple things we need to do we now I'm gonna give you these steps that I always follow prior to installing drivers within Linux uh, within Debian uh, you're gonna to have to add contrib and non free to your sources via synaptic in my NVIDIA Debian 9 video you'll see how to do that you wanna sign in as root you wanna update you want to add 32-bit architecture update again you want to install the, the appropriate headers for your kernel this command will identify your kernel and install the appropriate headers then you're going to install this codec firmware Linux non-free wireless tools make sure that's installed and network manager gnome now if you're installing 
on anything but Debian LXDE, all of this, all these last two, Wireless Tools and Net Network Manager GNOME, should be installed already. Now, if you have a Broadcom Wi-Fi adapter, you're going to install Broadcom-STA-DKMS. Once you install that, and it will take a little bit of time for it to install, um, and this this command assumes you've already got the correct headers. So if you didn't have the correct headers, then you would make sure that you run this command before this command. So once you finish this, Broadcom STADKMS, then you're going to reboot. Once you reboot, you should have access to your Broadcom Wi-Fi and be able to select a network. If you have Realtek, the uh, RTL 8812AU, which is what I have on this adapter that I just plugged in, it, within Debian, the only way that I know of to get your uh, Wi-Fi adapter working properly is to use the GitHub install process. Okay, so I am going to go through that process with you. I'm going to sign in as root. I haven't added myself to the sudoers file yet. So I'm going to sign in as root and then I'm going to copy and paste this command. Now, I'm going to if you've already installed the headers, we're going to change that. We're going to take out Linux headers generic. So, assuming you're you've already installed your headers, let's get rid of that. All we need is build essential and git. We need to make sure those two are installed. So I'm going to let that finish. And then we're going to pull in the files that we need with this git clone command. And that's going to pull in the files from GitHub. Then we need to change to that directory because it already created a directory. Now that we're in the proper directory, we're going to run the make command. So now it is going to go through, basically it's compiling the drivers, the driver for the Realtek Wi-Fi adapter. Now that's going to take just maybe a minute or so and then we're going to go on to the make install command. I don't need sudo because I'm signed in as root. So once this finishes, and it won't take much longer, once it finishes then we're going to mod probe the driver and then we will need to reboot in which case once I reboot uh, I should be able to click on network manager and see my Wi-Fi networks available and easily connect so this is just about done I'm gonna run the make install command which doesn't take much time at all and then we're gonna mod probe the driver make install and now we're going to mod probe the driver and now I need to reboot guys so I'll be right back with you once I reboot we should be good to go with with Wi-Fi on this Debian install. Be right back guys. Okay guys welcome back. I did reboot <clears throat> and now the moment of truth I'm gonna take a look to see if I have Wi-Fi available. 
On WICD, it's telling me still no wireless networks found. On my network manager, it shows all of my networks available. Again, that's why I do not recommend WICD. Network manager is much more user friendly. So once I <clears throat> put in my password, I should see a message that I'm connected to Wi-Fi. And there we go. Connected. As you can see, I'm connected to my Wi-Fi network. I've got access to all of my other networks. And that's pretty easy. Just follow the steps step by step. I'm going to put the show notes in so you'll have access to that <clears throat> and read as much as you can. Um, I'll put the links to some of these uh, Debian wiki pages so you can uh, absorb as much information as possible. The more you read, the more you understand, the more you analyze, the more intuitive the whole process will become. So guys, that is it for this video. Uh, I am connected to Wi-Fi. You can see WICD still isn't recognizing it. Uh, I'm not a big fan of WICD, but Network Manager won't. It won't steer you wrong. It'll normally do the job for you as long as you do the necessary preparation and build that foundation. So guys, uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for stopping by the channel today. Please rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you soon. Take care.